Yo, what's up guys? Faceless Mondays here with another episode of uh, Let's Play Yogbox. Now, uh, a few changes have been going on over the weekend, but uh, first off, let's start off with the texture pack today. We have um, Jolly Craft. I've been using this for uh, my own time and I enjoy it very much. So for the rest of this Let's Play, I'm going to be using this for a, a while until... Uh, Whoa, that was so close to my house. Dude, did you guys see that? My house could be on fire right now, and I wouldn't even know. But, um, what was I? I freaking totally lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. Yeah, you guys stopped the re uh, requesting texture packs, so thanks a lot to those of you who did request. I have a whole list of texture packs in my, uh, yog box right now. But, um, I'm going to be using this for, for a while. Like I said in the very beginning, I was like, I'm going to be testing texture packs until I find one that I really like. And I really do like this one, like the colors of the brick for the roofing. And, um, I fixed my tree bush problem that has been growing on my little castle mansion here. I replaced all the uh, logs with iron blocks. Pretty expensive, but it's uh, all the way around and it's been success because none of the stupid little bush things keeps growing on my house alright um, now another ch uh, update I finally tiled all the way all, all around the first floor here with this um, pattern the wood and then the stone bricks so thanks to brick builder 11 suggestion for using stone bricks as flooring looks really nice and Thanks to him again, because I wouldn't have thought about using uh, actual, like brick, red bricks for roofing. So thanks to him. Uh, another one of you guys suggested I do a moat around my house, but I got a better idea. I'm gonna make a fence, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And uh, oh yeah, bam, this tree. I don't think you guys have seen this yet. Last time I left off was a big giant hole here, just a big square, and I decided that. I should grow a tree in the middle, a really big tree. And I took a couple tries to get the right height and everything, but it really looks nice. Now you're probably wondering, Faces Mondays, so I thought you were going to put a fish tank here. I thought you were going to fill it up with water. Well, I still am, guys. After I finish off, uh, I'm going to layer all this with, um, look, at, look at this, rats in my basement. I'm going to, uh, what was it, what's the word? I don't know. I'm going to put iron here, and then this is all going to be glass blocks, so you can see through the water. And then the water is going to start from here, on this level. So, um, down, I got the idea from, uh, I was in the swamp the other night, uh, collecting sand, and I noticed that the water was higher than normal, because the swamp, either the swamp is lowered or the water is higher, but I was underwater, it was like two blocks, and then I was digging for sand, and I noticed there was trees underwater, like the bottom part, and I was like, dude, I got an amazing idea, I want to make a, a fish tank, a giant fish tank in my courtyard with a tree in the middle, and this is what I got. And the hardest part was to make this look all natural because, as you notice, it was just all flat, all stone. And I had to get a lot of sand and the wood that I cut. I tried to make uh, make it look like roots and everything, uh, like coming out of the tree. So this is what it's going to look like from the like inside. I'm going to have glass all around here. I'll have to dig all this out and fill it all in with water. And then I'm going to get fish eggs and like hopefully uh, get some jellyfishes will spawn in there and stuff. Or I'll find another way to get them in. And I'm going to get like a turtle and everything. But this is all going to be water. It's all going to be nice. I'm going to have to go into the nether and get some more glowstone too for the lighting. But um, as you can see, I have a little like balcony type thing where I can walk through. Uh, actually, I'll go up and show you guys right now. So right before we get into uh, Thalmcraft, which is what we're working on today, I got a suggestion from Jake Walford to make it like secret make it evil like look like make it look like it's evil and sinister so I moved all my stuff and I broke all my tanks and stuff so all the V are in the air now which is bad I polluted it but I'm gonna make it in my basement make it hidden and everything but here we go we're gonna walk around here I have it all glass so I can see through once it's all water it's gonna be awesome and be able to see the fishies I've made a way to go in an entrance from there an entrance from there and another way to go up to my third floor and I'm gonna have the same pattern over here too, the uh, the stripy pattern. Go, I'm gonna make it all the way around. So it's gonna be really nice. The roofing, I finished the I finished two 
two corners now. Got another two, and each of them costs about like 48 stair, uh, stone, um, stone red brick, red brick steps. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And then for here, I'm either gonna cover with brick or glass to have like a nice sunroof. And I'm not sure about the walls yet because all this is just plain glass. Like there's no bricks in it, so I'll be able to see inside. Um, but yeah. Also, um, he said he was hosting a server, uh, Jake Walford. So um, once he's uh, able to go on, I think I might be able to hop on and play. So if you guys would like to join me, like Trent, uh, I think you wanted to play Trent Jackson. Uh, who else? A couple of you guys wanted to play uh, a server with me, but... Here we go. We're gonna get right into uh, Thumbcraft. Now, last we left off, we need we were going to make a what was it? Oh, the Quantasium, the research table. And to make that, we need an ink sack, glass bottle, feather, three gold, and three stone. We have the three gold here. Oops. Uh, glass bottle, glass bottles, and my materials. See how I labeled everything? It's it's amazing. And then the f ink sacks. Oh my god. You know how hard it is to find squids and yagwax? Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, I need stone. Um, here's a trick, right? You're going to go out into the water, right? And then make sure you turn entities on on your uh, map. So due to that, you go into your raised mini-map. I think your key is M, but I configured mine to uh, the little squiggly line above tab. And then you go into entities radar right here. And they press on it, and then you make sure you have it on enabled. And then while you're, you're on the beach and near the water, you press tab, and it'll bring up your map. And the squids there, as you can see, oh, someone asked me about my horses. They're up there. In my stable, I made a stable, moved them outside. Um, as you can see, those white dots are them. White dots are uh, friendly mobs or neutral. Green ones are, no, green ones are friendly. White ones are neutral, I think. But horses, uh, horses are friendly. I don't know. Red ones are mobs that will attack you. And then blue ones are squid. Only blue ones are squid. That's what I've noticed. So if you're walking along the beach and you see a bunch of green ones, don't go and check on them because they're going to be jellyfishes and dolphins and everything. Only the blue ones. So... That's what helped me find them. I was just running around the shoreline for like a good 20 minutes. And then they finally spawned. And I r literally just jumped in and freaking, you know, killed them for their ink. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we have our Quantesium Neo. Is that how you call it? Qu quake, quasi, quizit, I don't know. We need a bunch of paper for it too. So let's get a good amount of paper. So how are you guys' sugar canes coming along? I got a, look at this. I got a nice amount of sugar canes from doing my little sugar cane -y stuff. So we need a lot of paper for my research table. Let's see if we can get 64. Not 63, fine, whatever. And then, uh, actually we're going to need a bunch of bookcases too. Because if you surround bookcases around a quantasium, I'm going to call it quantasium because I don't know how those pronounce, or research table, uh, it'll act just like a um, an enchanter. So it will give it more more power, not power. I'll give it more like I don't know what's the word for it. Um, but you know how if you surround uh, a enchantment table with 50 bookcases, it will um, it will what you might call it. It will like give it higher like enchantments. That's what the, it's basically the same thing for this research table. It'll give it, it'll give it a higher chance of researching uh, successfully. So we're going to try to make a bunch of bookcases. That is our first goal. And let me just do this real quick. I hate that you have you click this. You can't like shift click will make all of it for you. So I might just have another crafting table, like a regular one. And then bookcases right here. So here's my dirt. I'm going to use that for, uh, you know, trash throwing my crucible wood. I think we need a bunch of wood to make bookcases too. I don't think I'll have to make bookcases on my own time. I don't want to waste your guys' time. So I'm gonna put like a piston there, cause this is like my little secret entrance, and then I wanna have like either walls right here, like starting from here or something, and have it like sealed off or something. I wanna keep it like hidden, you know, make it look like it's uh, hidden and evil and all that good stuff. Anyways, crucible. Here we go. Now, like I said, you're going to throw an item in the crucible. 
it will turn that item into this liquid right here. And don't don't, don't jump in, you'll get hurt. Now the liquid has uh, two two forms mixed together, a good part and a bad part. So it's half and half. So half of it is good, half of it's bad, the liquid. And your machines, like your thalamic infuser, for instance, only takes only accepts the good part, which is called the V. The V V liquid V liquid V, I call it V, people call it Viz, you know, it's a, whatever, your personal preference, I don't care, you don't, I don't judge. Um, it'll only accept the, the good, the good, uh, liquid. So I'm going to show you real quick, if you throw like a log in there, and a tainted crystal, oh, not tainted, my bad, not tainted. Let's get some more crystals. Uh, I, I've collected more uh, along the way too, and look at all that I got, yeah. Oh, we got some sugar canes. I didn't even see. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy to collect crystals too. I mean, look at this. I, I've saved these crystals. I didn't harvest them yet. I wanted to show you guys how easy it was. Like, even if you look in your basement, you will find it's not that hard. I mean, if you're really struggling, you can use the X-ray texture pack that I showed you guys in my few episodes ago. But um, if you take your oh no, it's a log. That's why it didn't work. If you take a log, a great wood log, I would recommend, and then a crystal. Okay, tainted crystals still don't work try V crystal. As you can see, down on the uh, bottom right of this, you see a little yellow bar. Uh, let's throw some more stuff in. Wait. Now, the liquid turned darker now. That is the taint. Now, if there's too much taint in your pipes, in your thing, it'll get clogged, and what you have to do is just break the pipes, and then it will make that sound, and then your taint is in your ear now. And you don't want that to happen, but uh, I'll show you guys how to fix that after. So you throw a couple of these in, you know, your little table here. You see, you see the yellow bar that shows how much uh, V it's working. Uh, it's, and it looks like it's clogged right now. It's producing V and taint here, 50% V, 50% taint of every block you throw in. Now of course the diamond block will just overflow it instantly, but the dirt blocks aren't worth a lot. And as you can see the pipe is like dark. That's that's all taint right there and your crucible is not working now because your pipes are clogged. So what you gotta do is break it and then you see that dark stuff? Oh, you just polluted your air again. And then you know just boom pop that back on and oh it's clogged again, you know. So this is really annoying. You're like, oh face is Mondays, what the hell? What do I do? What you want is throw a filter on there, like I showed you like two episodes ago, two episodes ago. This will um purify it. It will get rid of the taint and pollute it into your air, which is bad of course again. But it will um, be able to pipe in all the good ones, all the good taint, the V taint, the v liquid V. God, I'm so like, ugh. Anyways, like I said, that's taint, this is V. It's much brighter, much cleaner. And you want to have your pipes and everything all... Um, clean. You don't want you don't want it to clog up because every time you're gonna break it and stuff, that's not that's not fun. So um, let's pipe it from here. So what what this setup is now doing is every time oh crap oh good thing it doesn't accept that. <laughs> what you want to do is just throw a bunch of blocks in there. Oh I missed. So either you can press Q and then throw them in like that, or you can just drop them in. And every single block it throws in, it creates a certain amount of liquid. Half of the liquid is taint, half of them is V. Now the V is getting stored into this tank and is being used in my infern, uh, piped into my infuser. And the other half, that 50% taint, is getting pumped into the air. So that's I got a pretty good setup right here going, but there's obviously better ways of uh, doing this which I will show you right now. So first thing we're going to need is a furnace. We're going to make an arcane furnace. Uh, we need some ingots. Dang it. Left my ingots in my chest. And now the newest version requires a block of iron, but we're still in the 1.2.3 the version of Yogbox. So we're only going to need um, an iron, iron ingot. So if you're using the latest version with uh, TechKit or you installed it by yourself, make sure your iron ingot is an iron block. And then a fire crystal. Oops. Oh, crap. Okay, not in that order. Put a furnace in first. And then your ingot. Where's my ingot? Oh. Whatever. We'll break one of these blocks for the ingots. An ingot. And then a fiery crystal. And looks like we need to throw some more. Look, as you can see, it's getting clogged. So the piping um, here, uh, 
it's uh, okay it worked it worked so even if it does get clogged your filter will still unclog it but it'll take some time so the best thing you can do is just take your pipe from your tank so instead of piping it from your V filter it'll just pipe it from your tank and that will be helpful here we go we got an arcane furnace now what this thing does is it's much faster than a regular furnace and it's much more uh, efficient so if you put this under your your which am I call it your crucible bam as you can see you can uh, queue up a lot of things in here and then you you can throw in a uh, coal in the middle and it's much more fuel efficient after there's nothing left the flame will pause itself until you throw in another thing to uh to cook so i'm going to show you guys the yet an example so let's grab some coal from one of our mini chests here i use these chests to like you know smelt flooring and blocks and stuff and um let's get something to smelt i think we're going to need some more uh more of these tiles so I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Now, the reason why we put it under a crucible is because when we throw items in, it'll make 50/50, like I said. But if you throw, if you have a furnace that's on, it'll make it uh, make it. I don't remember the real percentage, the actual percentage, but it'll make more V than taint. So there, here's another way for you to, um, of course, be more. You know, efficient, let's say. And as you can see, the flame is going right now. But if there wasn't a crucible on top of it, the flame will turn blue and it'll just pause because it's not cooking anything. And what you can also do is, uh, if you don't want the the flame to always keep going, if you don't want this to keep cooking, even though there's nothing in there, you can put a lever down right there and then it will stop it. So I'm gonna do that. And. Oh yeah, we're gonna make a arcane bellows. Set item. And to make an arcane bellows is we need enchanted wood, vapor crystal, and leather and ingots. So I've got a bunch of leather in here. Got some vapor crystals here and some ingots. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, lever. So I made a new chest here for power. Oh, we don't have lever? What? It's all good. I can grab some sticks from my materials box. Mega lever on my crafting table too. See, this whole setup is amazing. Like, look at this. I'm so organized. Anyways, um, let me show you guys real quick. If I throw down a lever right next to a or any redstone signal, we'll put it on pause. Well, I can't show you guys now because let's see. Okay, it's running right now. And if you pause it it'll turn blue, which will save your coal. So you don't want your coal to run all the time. You only want it to run if you're smelting something or if you are if you throw something in there. Now to make the arcane bellows even more fuel efficient, you can throw down, oh, what? <laughs> you can throw down an arcane bellows, which is, which is what I'm going to make right now. Arcane bellows. Here we go. This thing is pretty cool. I like the animation on it. So you put it next to your knocking bellows and it'll just it'll make this little pumping thing which will pump like air or whatever it does into your furnace, make it more efficient. Now when you uh, smelt ores you get a chance of doubling your uh, your ingots. So that is a very good, this is a very good furnace. And this obviously helps it do that and that helps it do that. You know, it's you can't really tell but it, it does its thing, okay? So we just leave it at that. And yeah, let's throw some more items in there because I got a bunch of dirt junk that I don't need. Alright, I got like freaking four more blocks of dirt. Who needs dirt? I mean, I don't need dirt for anything. I might make a farm where I put the Thomcraft up there. So a farm in that corner and then a kitchen in this little middle section. And then it's going to be awesome. I'm loving this house, man. Like, this project is a huge success and I'm making it in like the middle of a let's play. So while I was off looking for squids, I found a pirate ship, and I waypointed it, but 600 blocks away. When I have time, I'll go and like fight it and show you guys how awesome it is. But here's another thing, like one more time, I'll demonstrate. The dirt is turning into liquid, and 50% of that liquid is V, 50% is taint. The taint is getting pumped in the air, filtering it, uh, filtering the good part, the V, into our tanks and into our 
infuser, but since we're not using oops, since we're not using our infuser right now, it is all going into our tanks. And you have a, you can have a tank on top of each other and they will just bam. When that overfills it will fill into that tank too. So we can make more tanks later on, but we, it's not necessity. Uh, where that pipe go? Did I pick it up already? Alright. Now on to the next thing. We're gonna put down our quantesium. Where should we put it? I'm gonna have I need enough rum to put a bookcase to surround it by bookcases. But um I think for here would be good for now. I don't have enough bookcases for it, but you know, it's whatever. So the bookcases will start here, yeah. That's it's fine, it's fine. Now uh, do we have any paper? Oh we have a bunch of books. Good thing we have more sugar cane. I can always go outside and grab them, uh, grab them from the chest out there. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how this quantesium works. Throw a piece of paper in there. Throw some stuff you don't want. And what it will do is it'll take your stuff and try to research uh, just, uh, a theory from it. Now, this is your percent loss, which is what there. Every time the spark full, you'll lose something from here. Uh, this is your failure. This is this is not uh, you don't you don't need to this doesn't make any sense until you get to the third stage, and this is your success. You have a three percent success right now, which is really bad. It's horrible. Surrounded by bookcases, maybe you'll get five percent. What you want to do is research bookcases here. Re bookcases are I think number one. Of course, you can use diamond and iron, but bookcases is like the number one easy easily obtainable item in. You know, your percent from loss to success is pretty good from there, and how easily you can get bookcases. Diamonds and iron give you much higher, but you don't want to do that because it's expensive as hell. And then your next one down is pumpkins and watermelon. Watermelon blocks, I mean, because you can farm them. But that will give you, I think, either, I think around 20? No, I think it's 8%. I've never really used watermelons or anything, but yeah. You surround the bookcases and you get good stuff too. Here we go. We got a fragment of lost knowledge. Sweet deal. Now this is uh this is like a theory. I mean not a theory. This is a fragment of lost. I can't talk today. But uh, the percentage is 14% success. Oh, we lost it. I wanted to show you guys. Um, now let's check the success on books. 18%. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you guys if you. If you don't want to put books down here, you don't have to, but that will decrease your success to 6%. So if you put like items in there, like let's say you put paper in there, because paper is made of books, 8%, that's pretty good. You put uh, books in here, it'll make it up to 14%, 18%. So what you want to do is make either have the same item down here or even better items, and that will increase your success too. And this is really expensive right now. I've, I'm only going to leave it in for like one or two more books. If it doesn't get anything, I'm taking them back out. Okay, here we go. We got this thing. Now, once again, this is a 13%. And if we put like cobble in there, 15%. Okay, 2% not bad. Now, what if you put books in there? Because you know, 19%. That's pretty good. I mean, let's consider what we have here. Oh, we have iron. Okay, please work. Come on. Dang it. Okay, let's see how much we can get off iron. 14%. Nope. So we get better off bookcases. Okay, let's put three in there this time. And we, look, and we lose one every single time. And there's a chance we lose one from that. Okay. Get another one. Let's try some ingots this time. And now what was it before? I don't remember. It's 15% now. How much is it now? 17. Ooh. Still nothing. So I'm going to have to keep doing research on my own time, but... What I can do is put a bunch of dirt in there, because I don't care about the dirt. So hopefully I'll get a bunch of good research stuff from the dirt too. Uh, we're going to need to make some more paper, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out pretty soon. So I'm going to go back outside and grab some more paper. I mean sugar canes for paper. Like I said, you need a lot of sugar canes. Like, for the first 50 bookcases, that's like 3... That's like 150 times... I don't know. It's three papers for a book, three books for a bookcases, so three times 150 is uh, 450 sugar canes is how much you're going to need. And that's not including the paper for research and everything. So, like I said, make sure you have a good sugar cane farm. Check my last video out to, uh, you know, make them. And 
And I think that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please give me more feedback. I, I love how I love all your guys' suggestions. I mean, I take them all into your dude. I freaking left a dirt block right there. Scaffolding, ready? Did I get it? Uh, I don't want to hit that glass too because that's pretty delicate. Yes, I got it. So, hopefully by next video, I will have this all glassed up and fortified. You know, I want to make it look like this. It's like metal and like really sturdy. But even though it doesn't really matter, I can use like freaking sand or whatever. It still wouldn't matter the dirt. As long as there's uh, blocks there, the water is not going to get flooded into here, into the basement. Um, I'm going to get rid of all this part over here. You know, nothing's better than mining ores and stuff than your basement. I mean, come on. I've gotten so much coal and stuff, like as you can see from like the sides. Like over there, that was all coal. Um, you know, you're, you're making your you're making a basement bigger, and you're not leaving your house, the comfort of your home. Also, this roofing. Oh, I love this. It's the it's the flooring for my first floor, but it's the, also the roofing for the basement too. Oh, it's amazing. And these stairs. Oh my god, I love the design on these stairs that I made. Like I can literally come up and down whichever direction. And the stripe and down the middle. Oh my god, genius. Oh my god, and like how it perfectly matches like tiles and everything onto the third floor too. Oh my god, I love this house. Like, it's amazing. I mean, come on. I, I know I know you guys enjoy this house too. I mean, I'd be jealous of myself. And once I'm done with this, you know, I, if you guys want the file, I will I will send it to you. I'm gladly, I'll gladly share this uh, mansion with you guys. So you guys can put it on your server and stuff and, you know, be like, Yo, Faceless Mondays made this house and he gave it to me. You know, oh, what is this? What is this? Dang it! I don't have a I don't have a stone brick. I'm gonna have to replace it with that for now. But uh, next episode, we can do a little bit more research, and we are gonna go into the Nether. So I'm gonna show you something real cool, real quick. Ka, bam! I'm in a Japanese Japanese village. Now, um, stay tuned for next video on Thursday, and stay faceless.